It's October 10th, 2018. The Yankee season is over. It ended on a bang-bang play at first base in the bottom of the ninth inning with the tying run at second base. Um, and now, the post-mortem. What happened? Because these games could have been won. The series could have been won. Don't want to take anything away from the Red Sox, who are an extraordinary team. With the three wins in the series, they now have 111 wins on the season. That is not to be sneezed at. They didn't get there by accident. But I thought that what the Yankees did better than the Red Sox would allow the Yankees to win this series. But questionable pitching maneuvers and a lack of offense ended their season. So let's start for the second straight day with Aaron Boone. And it pains me to do this. I, I'm always going to be honest with you. He's a friend. The last thing I want to do is criticize him. But he's got to be criticized. The bases were loaded in the first inning yesterday with CC Sabathia, not Sandy Koufax in his prime. CC Sabathia, who has to be perfect to get through innings. He's got, he has guile. He has guts. He's an absolute stud. But he doesn't have overpowering stuff anymore. No one got up in the bullpen with the bases loaded in the first inning. And Ian Kinsler came within two feet of hitting a grand slam and demoralizing the stadium crowd. Let's move to the third. I thought that throughout this series, the game plan the Yankees would have would be to get to the bullpen as soon as possible. In fact, probably take a starter out sooner than they should rather than later. That's not the way it worked out in games three and four. They went with Severino way too long. Yesterday, Sabathia hits Benintendi to start the third inning. After the game, Boone said, our plan was to keep him in through Bradley. Don, Benintendi is the number two hitter in the order. Bradley's the number eight hitter in the yeah. order. You know what could happen in those six batters? I'll tell you. Three runs happened. The game happened. The one thing that I didn't see from the Yankees in this series was an urgency and the realization that every at bat, every out, every inning could end your season. You mean to tell me you went into this game with a scripted game plan yeah. that you were going to get through the third inning mm -hmm. and get CC to pitch to Bradley before you thought about the bullpen? Now, the bullpen was up by Bradley. But if they'd lost Bradley, okay, you'd have already given up three runs, and you're going to bring a reliever in with people on base. And the previous day, you bring in Lance Lynn with the bases load. None of it made well, sense to me, Don. Well, the only reason it would make any sense is that, like a football team scripting the first 15 plays of a game, the Yankees have these games scripted out. That's why I would give Boone a bit of a pass, because... He did the exact same thing the night before. Don't you learn your lesson? But he didn't do it in game one. He didn't do the wild card. That's what I... It, it's, there's the, just because a disconnect what, the, there. the plan was different. The, the opponent was different, they, Michael. <laughs> I think they go into each game, and the analytic guy script it out. Here's how the game is going to go, and here's how you're going to manage it. So they script every scenario. They leave nothing for chance. Here's the situation if the game's 2-1. Here's the situation if the game's scoreless. Here's the situation if the first runner gets on. They've got it all scripted out. And my problem is with that it's still played by human beings. You've got to get a feel for the game. And the other thing, I'm sure they scripted this all out thinking the Yankees were going to score. The Yankees weren't scoring. That was the problem in, in Game 3. We talk so much about it being 10 nothing. The fact is that it allowed to be 10 nothing because the Yankees didn't score the first time through the order. And again, they weren't scoring last night either. So you've got to get a feel for, we're in trouble here. We've got to get CC out. Forget about the script. But, Michael, that's the only explanation for this. Can you, They're so analytically driven that everything is scripted out ahead of time. What do you think? Because, seriously, it really changes the conversation. Because if people are upset at Boone, and it really wasn't him who had the call, it, it changes everything. Because uh, they should have pulled him. There's no way they shouldn't have. Here's the deal. He's making in-game decisions. But it's all being planned out. So, I mean, until we're told that Aaron Boone does not make in-game decisions, he's got to get some of the blame here.
There's got to be an urgency. You know what? Joe Girardi worked under the same limitations last year. Look how he managed that wild card game. Severino got taken out after right. one out well, in the first inning. Because you know why? Because your season can end.